giants have all, always interested uh, the general public as well as physicians. And I became interested in gigantism when a few years ago a uh, gene has been identified and we realized that we have a number of patients uh, with familiar uh, acromegaly and gigantism and they were all coming from Northern Ireland. So we initiated a study to, to look at these patients and also linking them with a famous 18th century uh, Irish giant who, whose skeleton is available in the Hunterian Museum in London. Uh, sooner or later, by our screening many patients from this area of the world, as well as the general public, now we un identified a lot of families, all with the same mutation, and uh, uh, many of the family members are manifesting the disease. And we now know that the founder of this particular mutation from Northern Ireland uh, lived uh, over a hundred generations ago and could explain all the histories and uh, folk tales about uh, giants in the uh, Irish folklore. Uh, similar histories have also been found in, in Finland, uh, where originally the gene uh, responsible for disease was identified. Uh, and, uh, Giants are present in almost all nations' uh, histories and mythologies, uh, such as uh, Goliath in the Bible or Tanaka in Hindu mythology. More recently, another gene has been identified in very young onset uh, gi giants, and this is due to a microduplication of the X chromosome. These patients start a disease usually under the age of one and indeed reach extreme heights. So uh, probably all the tallest uh, giants in the world had actually this particular mutation and this uh, particular disease. Our aim with these genetic studies and studying giants is uh, to identify the families, uh, find the carrier of the gene and uh, discover who develops a disease and treat them in time well before they truly develop extreme height and all the awful complications of this disease. More recently, uh, the life expectancy of patients with uh, childhood onset acromegaly increased considerably and our ultimate aim is that all these cases uh, will be identified at a young age, they will be treated, their final height will actually not be gigantic and uh, they will have hopefully close to normal life expectancy. So the motto is no more giants.